it was a really unusual experience for me to deliver my icebreaker. I was confident, and perhaps even overconfident, by the time I had to deliver my icebreaker. I delivered my invocation, and inv my invocation was evaluated as a very quality one, especially for a person standing on the stage for the first or second time. And I thought, in my arrogance, that probably it will take me about one and a half and two hours to prepare an icebreaker. Well, I paid my price. I had to, when I was going to Moscow, and I lived in Zelenograd at that time, I realized that my icebreaker would take me about 20 minutes. So I started <laughs> cutting it right going in the bus. By the time I arrived to the venue, I thought that my icebreaker would be a debacle, a debacle. <laughs> well, some people confirmed my fears and told me that it was a, de a debacle. But at the same time, what I loved about, to be honest, many people were very kind to me and told me that even though the project was very bad, I still was confident on the stage and I still had something. And the thing is, I love the experience because, first of all, it taught me that I should take Toastmasters seriously. And secondly, it showed me that even though people can give you fair evaluation, they do it in such a pleasant and supportive way that it doesn't hurt you at all. But I was overconfident anyway, so it didn't hurt me. But